Tucker Carlson can't help himself, y'all. He um he keeps, you know, going down this anti-vaccine path. 90% of Fox News employees are vaccinated, and of the 10% that are not, they take daily tests. They have much stricter vaccine standards than uh, than the Biden administration. So he's hiding the fact he's cer almost certainly vaccinated, and uh, he's kind of hiding that fact from his audience and going hard on anti-vaccine stuff. Well, now he has a doozy of a claim about what's going on with vaccine mandates in the military. The point of mandatory vaccination is to identify the sincere Christians in the ranks, the free thinkers, the men with high testosterone levels, and anyone else who does not love Joe Biden and make them leave immediately. It's a takeover of the U.S. military. What? What? So the claim is Biden wants a bunch of pro-Biden soy boys in the military? How does that even make sense? Wouldn't, in Tucker's fantasy land, wouldn't it work the other way that, you know, you'd want the Trump people to be in the military because then they could be cannon fodder? Like, okay, you guys go do the dirty work for us, soft liberals. Wouldn't that be the way it works? No, he's saying the men with high testosterone are being purged from the military. Is that also like a wink and a nod to like, these silly leftists with their trans issues... And their 87 pronouns, they want a bunch of asexual, LGBTQIA, LMNOP weirdos in the military. Ha <laughs> ha, stupid. I don't know, maybe that's a wink and a nod to that, but what a ridiculous claim. As if the government is actually trying to purge the military of Christians? Like 70 or 80% of this country is Christian. If you purge the military of Christians, you're going to have a hard time. Because your military got more than cut in half. Obviously, they're not trying to do that. I also love how he puts Christian and free thinker together. Free thinker is usually used in the context of saying free from dogma. Like, you don't have dogmatic beliefs. Christianity, by definition, it's its own dogma. It It's its own set of beliefs. It's a religion. So he links those together as if, like, well, Christianity, well, the free thinkers are the same as the Christians. What? And And he's also hinting that Free thinker means you don't want to take the vaccine. What if that just means you haven't evaluated the evidence properly? And I'm being kind by putting it just like that. When you have over 90% of the people who are dying and are hospitalized from COVID now are unvaccinated, what if you just haven't looked at the numbers and digested them properly? What about that? What about that? No, it must be you're a free thinker. Yeah, free to be dead wrong. Now, by the way, I will say this. I don't know the way it works for the military. I don't know if it's, um, if they have a policy of you must get vaccinated or test. But I will say this. If it is solely a vaccine mandate, I would oppose that because you can just test instead. I like what Biden did with businesses where it's 100 employees or more. You have to get vaccinated or test weekly. I like that. I like giving people that little out. I like the default being get vaccinated, but if you really are committed against it, you could take the test. I like that. So if... If they, it's a pure vaccine mandate in the sense that they don't offer tests as an out, then I would be against it. I don't know what it is in the military, though. Maybe they do have the testing, maybe they don't. But if they don't have the testing, I would be against it. But anyway, I mean, what a ridiculous... I mean, this victim complex, people on the right, what is wrong with you? It can't just be that this is a public health safety measure that actually would help you. Can't be that. It's got to be nefarious, partisan, tribal politics and... Biden is trying to purge the military of Christians, which would mean our military is more than cut in half. He's trying to purge it of free thinkers. He's trying to purge it of manly men. And by the way, I love the, the idea that Christians, free thinkers, and manly men are anti-Biden. Of course, they're all anti-Biden. Plenty of Christians are pro-Joe Biden. Plenty of them. You know, his approval rating usually hovers between 42% and 52%. So that's plenty of Christians in there like Joe Biden. Plenty of free thinkers like Joe Biden. Plenty of manly men like Joe Biden. Again, it's these lazy tropes and stereotypes. Like the manly men are all macho and love Trump and are wrong about vaccine efficacy. Oh, the manly men are dumb. Actually, no, Tucker. That's not true. Jesus Christ. It really is astonishing. I am amazed at how much he's leaning into this. And by the way, this has become a big culture war issue these days. It has. And that's depressing. 
that it's a culture war thing now. Because by the way, this was one of Trump's biggest accomplishments was basically rushing that vaccine. And now it's got full FDA approval. I mean, he, they should be doing a victory lap over this. But no, it's become this weird culture war thing. Now, there are plenty of people on, on the left who are anti-vax, but it's more on the right. And um, it's a shame. I really think the policy of either get the vaccine or just get tested, that's a good policy. I like it. And honestly, I'd like to see it implemented everywhere. I think we'd be in much better shape if that was the case.